Welcome to Operation Crypto and welcome to today's video. Today we will be talking about how to use Binance and all the features that it has on there. We will just go through some of the basics really to give um, give you a great understanding how it works and, and how to do certain things. So first up, please make sure you do like this video and subscribe to my channel. And make sure that you do join my Telegram group. It is for Crypto Troops. The link is in the description. So we will start off with the Binance home page. Once you have logged in and you have put your two-factor authentication in which you, which I do suggest that you, you enable, you will come to this page. The top left, you have certain different options. Pretty much none of these you will really use. It is mainly the market section and the trade section here. Going across derivatives, that is if you want to trade with leverage. Again, if you are new to um, cryptocurrency, I would not recommend that you start trading with leverage. It is kind of what happens in Forex when you have um, you can have a certain amount of leverage on your token. So, in, for example, if you have one Bitcoin, um, you can trade that times 100. So, in reality, you could be trading with a lot more funds than you actually have. So, I do not recommend that. And then we have finance, so you can um, we have certain things in here that you can lock up your tokens or your crypto, whatever you have, and, and earn an API. A bit like um, an ISO with your bank, so as well. And then you can also get a card, but personally, I'm not checked it out yet. Crypto loans, stay away from them because that's a that's a slippery slope. Next up, we have the top left, um, top right here. You have the wallet, so this is where all your crypto assets will be stored. So you can have an overview, um, which will show you the the uh, entire amount that you have on Binance but then also you have different aspects of Binance so predominantly if you are new you will be using fiat and spot so fiat is your standard native currency and spot is pretty much where you will do most investment purchases on the next tab you see orders so that is boot you can see what previous orders you've had in place or what trades you've done and um, what trades you've got currently ongoing you will then have your profile up here um, again security options make sure you enable two-factor authentication um, you can do that with the um, google authenticator which you can have in your mobile device and um, i do recommend to do that and then finally you just have a um, an app store here. so this will um, give you a link if you want to get the app on your phone scan that and you can find it straight away so first up we will take a look at a wallet and we will just click overview I do have a bit of funds in my Binance currently. And as you can see here, on the left-hand side, it shows you all the different types of wallets. I am only holding funds in my um, my spot wallet. As you can see here, I've got, it shows you an icon of what you're actually holding. I'm not holding that for some reason. It's, I've got a random airdrop. But that is the amount that's there. Uh, and then these are different ones. If you're looking to trade and you've found an asset that you like, you've done it for a research, and you want to buy... An asset on Binance so what I recommend you do is click trade and then click classic and this will take you to the pretty much the best place to to trade assets um, especially for investment perspective so on the left hand side here you will see that we have um, the current asset that is um, selected and down the left hand side this is all the sell orders that are currently in place and this is all the buy orders that people have put in place here we have the, the chart interface, which you can you can do a little bit of technical analysis on it. If you click the um, that button there, you can have a look into some depth chart and zoom in and zoom out and, and do as you wish. You can select the different time frames up here. Just to get out of that, you press escape and it will take you back to the beginning. So that is that, um, the interface there. Then on the top right here, this is where you will find the, the asset that you want to buy. I have got my favourites here, but um, just ignore them for now. You can see BNB, BTC, Alts, and this is the specific pair. So if you want to buy, um, I don't know, let's go into um, BTC, and you want to buy DOT, which is Polkadot, you'll type DOT in, and then it'll come up with all the different types of DOT that are trading there. So if you want, if you have Bitcoin and you want to buy DOT for Bitcoin, you'll just click here, DOT Bitcoin, and then it will come up with the the chart for dot the current sell orders current buy orders and then down here is where you will do your trading so make sure it's on spot do not have it on isolated or times free cross because that's going into leverage trading and and you don't need to do that um, i currently don't have any btc i believe in here but what you currently what you do is click the price that you want to um buy it and so if you look down the left hand side 
click one of them prices and it will just transfer into there if you look it that will show so if, for example you want to buy dot at this price click it there or if you have a price a lot lower which you'd want to buy and you want to set an order uh, and then just put that price in there uh, type the amount of dot you want so 100 uh, and that will tell you how much btc you require and then the exact same for sell so if you wish to set a sell order put a price in there i don't know click one up here bring a price up and you put the amount of dot in you wish to sell i currently got 163 dot in there so i could set a sell order now at a specific price personally i do a lot of my trading in usdt um, so if you click here so don't click the up or down ones because they will do you over this is what you want dot usd so this is like buying in dollars um, and this is one i prefer to use again if you want to buy dot at, for example i'm just going to put stupid pricing say if you want dot at two dollars and you want 100 dot that will then show you that you are required to set an order of $200 to buy uh, $100 at $2. It is quite simple. An exact same on this side. If you're looking to sell and you have them in, so I've got $163 there. You can click um, click that amount or just put amount. So I want to sell $100 at ten dollars each and that's how much it will give you it tells you a price how much it will be worth when that when the order eventually hits so that is a very easy method just to buy and sell orders um, if you look um again just click trade click classic and then it'll bring you up to here if um if you do um trade different assets that are your favorites then just click a star at the end and that will down to your favorites here and you can see a good list of of your favorite altcoins on that side so that is how you buy and sell cryptocurrency using Binance. The next thing to look at is how you actually withdraw these funds once you have purchased them from the exchange. And it is very, very simple. You will again, you will click on wallet and you'll click fiat and spot and it will then bring your wallet up and it will also give you all the assets, a list of what you are currently holding. I'm not holding anything below um, UTK in my wallet term, which again, these will all soon be sent to my private wallet. So to give you an example of how to withdraw them, look at the asset you want to withdraw. So for example, we will take RSR. You'll move across and find different options. So what we want to do is click withdraw. And then you will see the amount of RSR you have, um, the recipient RSR address. So RSR is an ERC20 token, which is an Ethereum address. So on your private um, wallet, whichever you use, whether that be MetaMask or uh, Trust or Engine Wallet, get your address from there and copy and paste it into this box. Then you will click the amount. So for example, I want to click maximum. And then it will say there will be a fee of 189 RSR. And that's to cover for the network fees. And then that is how much you will get in your private wallet. You will then click submit. And then this will bring up three different options that are required for security to um, enable your withdrawal so first up they will send you a text with a code which you have to enter they'll also email you a code and if your two-factor authentication is active you'll also have to get your your six digit code and copy it in there once all the three codes have been applied click submit and that will then approve the transaction and you will get a notification um, up here where I've got this current little um, red notification and it will tell you that your funds have been sent. It will then also give you a TX ID and you'll be able to track that movement, especially if it is an ERC20 token, you will be able to either track it on the website or check it on Etherscan. So that is how you withdraw. It is quite simple and the exact same works if you want to deposit an asset. If there is an asset on here that you want to, um, if you have any private wallet, for example, I don't know, we'll just pick a random one. So we'll click Alpha Finance. All you want to do is, if you've got your private wallet, click Deposit. And this will give you an address then. You'll click on that address and then pretty much send it straight away. It's very, very simple to do. So that is the main things you need to know as a new investor to the crypto space and to Binance. How to buy and sell assets and also how to withdraw your funds from exchange. Again, if you need to add funds to Binance, um, personally, I recommend you buy them, um, for example, Ethereum or BTC on um, mycrypto.com and then deposit funds into Binance and trade assets that way. It is quite simple. Just make sure that you do send them to the correct address, copy and paste them, and also make sure you do have security settings 
in place one thing if you are new to binance please join up with a link in the description you can get 10 percent off your entire trading fees from whenever you join so that will never end You'll always get that 10 percent off your fees which is it's it's not a massive amount but it's a good amount so that will do it for today's video if you do have any further questions about binance if you want to go into depth about a, a for example leverage trading or different markets or some of the um the staking options then drop into my telegram which is the crypto troops you will find the link in the description and i will happily walk you through any aspect of binance so thank you very much for listening please make sure you do like this video and subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you next time